Good morning, guys. Hi. Um, it is 6.17 right now. We are going to have a self-care day today. Yeah, I'm basically just going to kind of indulge myself in just like really fun activities. The reason for this is I haven't been happy these days. Um, some personal things. <laughs> I've been greatly affecting like how I'm feeling. Um, I have had a lot of rainy cloud days this week and it's just like I feel like the whole day there's just like a rain cloud over my head like blocking me from happiness. Kind of dramatic but yeah I've been having a lot of rain cloud days this week and I've just been like pushing myself so much just try to feel better and to work a lot and to I don't know do anything I can to like distract myself from the rain clouds but now i'm finally just like okay let's take a break from it all and let's just like take care of myself so yeah the first step that i did actually for today was last night i deleted all of my social media except for like facebook messenger uh just because like social media these days have, has had more of a negative stressful impression on me and I've become more like addicted to it again because I'm trying like not to feel the rain cloud days so I'm just scrolling and I don't think that's good for my mental health so I deleted it I actually had my phone on airplane mode all night so there's like no, no notifications on here I thought that would help me feel a lot better since I just keep checking things so that was step one step two is to wake up early because I want to see if I can catch the sunrise which is around 6 40 yeah we're gonna do a lot of different things today to uh, help me feel better hopefully and just like take a break from everything of course I'm like still filming but <laughs> I'm still excited like I, I actually woke up this morning on time because I had something to do something planned out this video um, yesterday I literally s slept in until almost 11 a.m. and if you know me you know that's not normal at all I wake up between like 7 and 9 every day no later than 9 so so yeah I'm just trying to assess the problem now <laughs> and feel better so yeah welcome to the self-care day guys i am just going to read some scriptures watch the sunrise and exercise and we're gonna have a great day at least try to anyways sunrise you guys it just makes my heart so happy also it's so humid out here that this is getting super foggy <laughs> there's a guy out there so walking his dog oh, in the early morning love it love it Lo okay he probably sees me stalking let's let's go well, it's a shadow before me if I don't find a light or purpose for being no to fight and I know I can't face it at least not alone so I try to replace it with a glimmer of hope so I try hope yeah I try hope wherever it's going and then I find hope it is 90% humidity outside and I can tell why it is I was only out there for like 12 minutes and I am dripping with sweat. It's time for a shower. Hi guys, it's 7.58 right now and we are going to make biscuits. My dad growing up would make biscuits and they were like the best thing and I loved them so we're going to make them. I asked him for the recipe last night. I was trying to think about what I wanted to eat today for breakfast but I haven't had much of a palate for food recently. So something like 
simple and bread-like seemed good to me, but I wanted it to be a little extravagant because like I said, I want to kind of like indulge myself. So biscuits seems like it was just the first thing that came to my mind. So yeah. This is like the moment of truth. Did they actually taste good or not? Oh my gosh, it actually tastes really good. I'm happy with this. That's good, that's good. Girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Waste our shadows <laughs> on the pines. <laughs> so I'm yeah, sure bye, to fall and free. Bye bye. Cassie, thank you for calling me. It was very much needed today. So now my morning is so happy and so bright. So. Welcome to the outside, my backyard. So I've been wanting to like have a reading sort of chill day outside probably since I first came here and I've just put it off. Like I was just coming up with all these excuses of why I shouldn't do it. And plus I was like, I'm never gonna have like the whole afternoon to do that. Until today, I finally decided that I'm gonna take a few hours to just relax 
outside where it's beautiful. I mean, look at this place. This is my backyard. It's so pretty and I never spend time outside here. Yeah, it's 12.57. So maybe not like the best time for this. As you saw, I did change into shorts because it is hot. Uh, the book that I have that I will be reading today is Small Favors. My older sister, Desiree, here's a plug to her channel. She's the best. Darling Desi is her channel and she recommended it to me. Yeah, my sister's like a big famous YouTuber. She has over 100K followers. I'm so proud of her. Shout out to you, Des. But anyways, so yeah, my sister got this book and she said it was really good. So I got it as just like, I got it last night at Barnes & Noble and I'm really excited to start reading it as it bleeds into autumn. Bleeds sounds kind of intense, as it fades into autumn. So I'm really excited. Um, I also have my journal in case I want to journal. It's, I am getting near to the end of this journal, like not much left. But so yeah, I'm just going to take some time to just like read and relax and have a really good time with myself and this book. I'm really excited to start reading actually. I think it'll be really, really good. So, so. to join me. Hey Lun Lun. My name's Luna but I call her Lun Lun. Hey. I, I made a sandwich because I'm hungry. <laughs> Dude my hair looks so pinkish red in the light like it's crazy but anyways uh yeah I'm, I'm gonna chill out here a bit more and then I will talk to you later when I'm doing something else. guys so I just had a quick thought that I wanted to share that I think kind of fits the theme of this video I think I just finally grasped the fact that we are not expected or we shouldn't be expected to seem fine and perfect all the time even just by ourselves like a lot of time I'm by myself and if I'm like not doing well or not feeling great and not having a good day like I get mad at myself about it and I'm like Shree you're stronger than this you're better than this like come on girl like you got this but I don't and then I feel just like really upset at myself for not being okay. I feel like I always just try to be so hyped up and energetic and perfect, I guess, in so many different ways. And but sometimes I just forget that we're not meant to as humans. We're not meant to be okay all the time. If you're not having a good day, like if I'm not having a good day, that's okay. And I used to be really good at this. I just like being okay, not being okay, <laughs> but I don't know what happened. I just stopped doing that. I, I guess I like put myself up to a higher standard than everyone else. And I don't know, I just feel like that realization was really good that that's not expected of me. Because I feel like I've just been trying to not feel all these negative emotions these past few days, and which is why I've been working so hard on YouTube and just like constantly trying to stay busy because I didn't want to face my emotions and my feelings. But today just being able to just do whatever i want like i've been daydreaming it up out here and just like enjoying life and just thinking i was able to come to grips i guess with my emotions and make peace with it instead of fight fight the emotions so and i had this realization so that's really good and i just want to share with you guys i think pushing yourself to do your best is important i do i want to work hard for what i want like if i just did self-care days like every day i would still 
I don't know, I feel like I wouldn't be growing, you know, I wouldn't be getting better. But I do feel like it's a balance between working yourself hard, because I feel like there's some sort of accomplishment in that, and I love that, but also giving yourself time to process emotions and to take care of yourself. I think there's a balance, and I'm still figuring out that balance because I'm only 24 and I don't know, I don't know much, so. Yeah, I, but I did want to share that with you guys. Okay, that's all for my um, TED Talk. We're gonna do something. Yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> Just wanted to share that with you guys. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us so guys, I had the best idea while I was walking today <laughs> and it's three words, chocolate chip cookies. I have not made homemade chocolate chip cookies nor eaten them in such a long time. It just came to me today like poof. So, we got the ingredients back here and we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies and I'm super excited. I usually eat pretty healthy, like I'm a pretty healthy girl, but some days you just gotta splurge and you gotta have chocolate chip cookies. It's literally starstruck. Oh my gosh, yes. Please. I am watching that tonight. Be ready, guys. We got a good movie coming. A bit cheesy. Probably a little dramatic, but I am so there for that. Hello? I want to watch the movie. Did you watch the trailer? Yeah. Hey. Yo, Desiree told me it's your night off. Can I come over and have pizza? Uh. <laughs> so basically, I want to watch a movie on Voodoo that Desiree recommended and Desiree's gonna buy it, but is shit okay if she Venmos you and I just like buy it on Voodoo using your card? Like, is all this stuff on there? Yeah, what's, what's the movie? It's called Finding You. It's a, you know, like a cheesy romantic comedy set in Ireland. <laughs> okay. Definitely your style, Dad. Yeah, I think I've seen TV. Really? <laughs> is, it about, is it about this guy who's like a... Famous actor. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen the trailer. I've seen, I've seen previews of it, yeah. I love it, Dad. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. So my sister recommended this movie to me called, I think it's called Finding You. It literally looks like Disney's Starstruck, but set in Ireland. So we're gonna, ow! Usually I don't like treat myself to stuff like this unless I'm with other people or like celebrating somebody else. So it feels really weird to kind of be like throwing this party for myself, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, it's nice to just like 
do something nice for myself, something that has a lot of effort. So that makes something that takes a lot of effort, you know? Like baking cookies and making popcorn and setting up before it and getting a movie to watch. It's just like, I don't know, it's nice. All right, I'm gonna watch and I'll go back to you after. now i just finished the movie and guys it was good it was good it was like one of those like cheesy dramatic coming of age stories that is not real life at all but that's what makes it fun i don't know i'm that kind of person <laughs> hey guys it's 12 59 right now so it's almost 1 a.m and i'm really sleepy i was just messaging a friend for like an hour and cleaning up my room and stuff. It's late, I'm tired. Um, honestly, no, today was a really good day. There were some moments in the day where I just like felt like, I don't know, just like this peace that like everything is okay. Not even that everything is gonna be okay, but that everything in this moment is okay. And that was really nice. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very different from other like Korea prep videos, but I think this is, equally important to my Korea, other Korea prep videos just because this really is helping me prepare for Korea. One other thing that I noticed actually is that without Instagram, Facebook, all that, cause like I deleted that from my phone today, I, and just, I was able to listen to my own thoughts more, which was so refreshing actually. Um, I realized that I'm not as sad of a person or like as negative of a person as I thought. Like. My mind is actually pretty great and there's a lot of good thoughts in there and happiness but the world today and all the news and everything I see on social media has like been bringing me down or just like creating more negative thought patterns in my mind and so it was really refreshing just to listen to my own mind for once. I know that sounds super weird but honestly that I'm so happy I went without social media today like that was such a good decision. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get ready for bed. No, I'm going to actually like, go to bed now. I, it's late, I'm tired. And I will see you guys soon in another video. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Korea's coming closer, so be ready. Remember guys, life doesn't only begin at the end of your comfort zone. It also begins at the end of your culture zone. Bye guys, see you soon.